Hi everyone, good evening, good morning. In this video, you're going to learn how to use the iHost application lifetime interface to gracefully shut down an ASP.NET Core application server. So, in this example, we have we're going to um, insert a hundred thousand records into our database. But because we want uh, to decide, because we decided that we're going to shut down before it f um, finishes the hundred thousand, it's going to save whatever number of records that it has when we shut down the server. Okay, so to demonstrate that. We'll try to see here whatever record. So we're going to truncate this. We're going to uh, uh, we should display the name, I think. Okay, adding number here. Okay. So so we're going to dot net run this. Alright, so uh, server is now running. We're now going to insert our 100,000 records. So as you can see, um, it's currently running and it's now in um, 20k, 30, 40, 50. So let's shut it down. Okay. We shut down at 65,000 records. So, application is shutting down. Alright. So, because we put a... We put a graceful shutdown here. And then we... While it's adding the customer in our in our context um, it and then if it detects that oh um, the cancellation token here is requesting a shutdown or what's this uh, if the cancellation has been requested for this token yep so if there's a cancellation that has been requested then we then stop and then break and then just go into the save changes immediately and then pack up everything and go home all right so let's going to check this one here how many records do we have it's zero <laughs> why So maybe we click the run here and then this truncate is also executed. Um, let's do this again. Truncate that. Should be zero. Do this one here. Alright, and then run our server again. Okay, it's running. Let's do another insert. So we have it here. Three thousand six seven eight uh, twenty thirty-five. Did we shut down? Shut down. Shut down. Okay, stopping. So we should be expecting a 51k that is inserted yep 
51k. This one here. Yep. So, what if we don't put a graceful shed down here? So, if we don't put anything there, for example, we're going to comment this entire code. And then put this one here. We remove that graceful shutdown code there. And then we truncate this, do that, and truncate this, um, comment that one again. So if we don't put any code to handle a graceful shutdown, when we run this, and then we execute this, okay. So if we say, okay, shut down. So we shut down. Uh, and then because we don't have any code that will handle that properly, we don't have any record here. Right? So uh, I think that helps. So, yeah. Bye.